Please rise.
your spirit. The entrance hymn can be found in the red hymnal, number 730, How Great Thou Art, number 730. We will sing verses 1 and 4. My brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our brother, that he may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves, that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Joe, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be attentive to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot the plant, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to be silent, 
and the time to speak. Whatever God does will endure forever. There is no adding to it or taking from it. God has done this so that we may hold him in highest reverence. What is now has already been, and what is to be already is. And God restores what would otherwise be displaced. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive who are left until the coming of the Lord will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of the command, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. Otherwise, how could I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? I am indeed going to prepare a place for you, and then I shall come back and take you with me, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Lord, said Thomas, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I just realized something, a first for me today, and I think it's a first for a lot of us, and it's a beautiful first. There's a baptism taking place right now back there, and a funeral taking place right here. He started in baptism. It's, it's just a beautiful th- sense of the church, the circle in the church. So we pray for that little lift back there as we pray for Joe. It doesn't matter the circumstances that we lose somebody. They can go quickly, sometimes tragically, or they can go over a long period of time. But there's something in common with every loss that we experience. It leaves an incredible hole in our lives. And it's a hole that, try as we might, we can't fill it with anything. It's always going to be there. Now, eventually, we learn how to live around that hole and live with that hole there. And it takes a while. But we figure it out eventually. But it's always there. We can take consolation in two things. One is that gospel that I just read, which is one of my favorite gospels out of all of them, because it's filled with such hope and promise that Jesus said, I am going to prepare a place for you, for you, for you, for each one of us, and for Joe, that all the things he enjoyed here on earth and more, unfathomable amounts of more, he's enjoying. What a beautiful thought that is, that we each have a place that Jesus prepared for us. The second thing we take consolation in is the stories that you can tell about him. Now, unfortunately, I never knew him, but through Sabrina, through reading the, his obituary, somebody I would have loved to know. He seemed like an incredible guy, very talented, clearly, and he touched lives. That's why you're here today. But the stories you can tell about him help him to live on from generation to generation to generation. Tell those stories. Tell the funny things. That's how he lives on in you. Clearly, like I said, he touched your lives in one way or another. That's why you're here. Because he touched you some way. Don't forget that. Continue to pray for him because he needs our prayers, as do anybody that's passed. And please know that I will keep you all in my prayers as you go through this. God bless. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Joe received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother Joe was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Many family and friends have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Those who trusted in Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give re refreshment, rest, and peace to those whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Job seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of your Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for our brother, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Joe again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Joe, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. into